I told you guys, I told you guys I was going to pass my Java test. Guys, since finally I have passed my Java test, I can now drive legally in Australia without any problems. <sighs> it was such a long journey. You know, uh, last week I actually posted on this same platform about how I couldn't uh, make it. I failed my last Java test, the one that I took on the 1st of July. And it was because I was making a couple of mistakes that I shouldn't be making. Probably, uh, maybe I was a little anxious, and um, I just felt it outright. The, so, the good thing is that if you are uh, eligible to do your learner's test, you can book as many times as possible. So even if you fail the driver's test maybe two times, three times, four times, five times, you can keep rebooking, but you just have to pay the booking fee. That's around sixty-five dollars. So I just, in fact, what happened that it was that when I failed the test on 1st July, I came back, I, they gave me my result. I was sad. So immediately I came back, the first thing I did was to book another one. You know, some people, when they come back, when they fail, they, they'll be like, okay, I need to practice more. But in my heart of hearts, I knew, why will I fail this test? I was like, why? I mean, I can't fail this. It's just something, that, just driving, come on. I, I've, been, I've been driving for a while, so why? I, I don't. I, I didn't feel happy failing that test because I felt, no, I shouldn't fail it. So immediately I came back. That was the first thing I did. I put a call. I just booked a new uh, test. I paid. Uh, and, and the thing is that from the time I actually booked that test and the time I took the test, which was yesterday, I mean, uh, which was 1st of August, I didn't really do anything special, maybe learning how to do the so and so skill because I actually know how to drive. But, you know, when you are in an exam condition, it's, sometimes it's, uh, messes you up and then you know you just fail even when you're not supposed to fail so that's what happened but the thing is that you actually gain a certain level of confidence from failing i mean some of you who have been failing i'm not saying this to diss anyone but some of you who have been <laughs> no, no 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 let me not say that but the thing is that if you actually fail something and you have to do it again you have a level of confidence you're like yeah I, even if i fail it's not the end of the world you know you get one kind of confidence from failing so I think I got that confidence and I didn't even bother. But when I got there, uh, my test was around 1.55 p.m. In fact, some of my friends, was, they, they were telling me that that's a bad time to book because from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m., the school zones are on. So you can't go above 40 km per hour in the school zone. So, And also there's lots of traffic. People are going to school to pick their kids. People are coming back from work. People, you know, lots of traffic by that time of the day. So the best time to book is usually in the morning time. But I just, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I can't change the booking time anymore. So I just went there by 1.55. Actually, I arrived earlier because they will tell you I arrived 20 minutes before time. So I arrived around 30 minutes or 14 minutes before time. I packed and then I went in and, you know, finished the processing. And then I waited for my um, instructor. So the instructor came out. He wasn't the person that did it last time. So it, he was a new person now. So we got into the car and then... You know, he was like, okay, he checked the car, everything, it's okay, and then we started moving. So, while we were moving, there was, um, because there are a couple of maneuvers they want to, to, to do, they want you to do, and then they can assess you. So, there is this one they call the three point turn. Three point turn, maybe most of you who drive, you understand what three point turn is. You know, like when you are coming on a road like this, then you have to turn the vehicle, but not a U turn. You do, go like this, then you come back, then you go like this. So I had to do that, and I actually know how to do these things. I know three point one, but you know that just when they asked me to do that, I made a mistake and I hit the curb. And when you hit the curb, it's actually a big problem because some examiners will actually fail you because you hit the curb. So when I hit the curb, my mind was like, God, why did I hit the curb? I'm gonna fail again. For I just I was just like, well, the confidence that came from uh, because I failed that last time, the confidence just came. I was like, ah, even if I fail, no problem. Just make sure you don't make any other mistakes. So I was like, okay, let's continue. So I continued. I was just moving, moving. The next thing to say, okay, turn left, reverse, do this. Every other thing, I was just doing it to the best of my ability. I wasn't paying attention to the negative feeling of that mistake I made initially. So I was just doing, doing, doing other things. We went into the beauty place. I followed all the rules, you know. And uh, yeah, and uh, it was actually true because there were like there was so much tra there was so much traffic uh, by that time of the day. But it's fine. It only delayed our our test. 
So finally, finally, after everything, we drove back. He now told me, okay, not a U-turn, come back, then pack. So when he said I should pack, I was like, God, what is it again? Is it going to be the same thing that happened last? Because, yeah, I know you have that confidence because I have that confidence because I failed before, but I actually didn't want to fail again. I needed this. I needed that life. I needed the life. I didn't want to fail again. So when he said I should pack, I was like, okay, let me pack, yeah. And I was telling myself, yeah, if it happens, it's not the end of the world. You just try again. In my mind, if I fail, once I come back, I'm looking again. Because that's actually my mentality. I don't stop until I get what I want. If I fail four times, I'll keep looking until I pass. <laughs> until I pass. So I don't stop. I actually don't stop. So he said, okay, I should come into the room for the debriefing area. And then... So what something gave me a hint that I was successful. When I was coming, he was like, oh, I didn't grab my documents. I was like, okay, yeah, I forgot in the car. I went and took the documents. And then I forgot my phone. I said, oh, I forgot my phone. Do I need it? He said, yeah, yeah, I think I need to grab my phone. And then I remembered last time when we just got to the, the, the briefing area, he didn't even ask of anything. He was like, yeah, yeah, just go, just go. Then he told me I wasn't successful. But now, in my mind, I was thinking, this one he's asking for, he said documents and phone. Ah, it's like... You know, there is something, you understand? So I just got into the, the briefing area. Then he was like, uh, congratulations. Man, I don't know how, how like, the last time I felt happy to that level. God, I almost fell down from my chair. <laughs> I was so happy. He was like, congratulations, you passed this hour test. And then he started like, okay, but there are some mistakes. He started pointing out the trip, talking about the trip points, and I was like, I know, I'm sorry. That was just anxiety this is nothing i can do these things i can i can close my eyes and do this it's nothing you know but then he was like finally congratulations they are going to call me and then they're going to finally give me like a, a, a temporary one because the main car it takes around two or three weeks to become available and then they'll send it to my address so i just went there i was so happy I, they said oh that i have to pay yeah i think they, if you want to pay for one year around 88 dollars I, I saw I was like, what's the highest? I don't want any one year. They say highest is five years. Five years were around hundred and ninety nine dollars. I was in fact I was paying it, I, I didn't even care because I was just so happy I just paid hundred and ninety nine dollars. So um it's it was just so much like I don't know why I feel so happy to pass this thing because it's it has been on my mind, you know. I mean how can why can't I pass driver just I used to look at it as ordinary, but when I so how difficult it was, you know, I was like, ah, so I just thank God that finally this journey has come to an end. So finally, I have my driver's license. So for those of you who are planning on coming to Australia, when you come, you can count on me as your driver. I don't mind. I can drive you anywhere you want to go. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching this video. Please like this channel. Please subscribe and also um, share this video if you like. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.